A new community is taking shape south of the border to help provide a safe, stable home to families in need. And incredibly, it's being built by a 3D printer. News 8's Marcella Lee is here now to show us how a local company is helping out with the project. Marcella? Barbara Lee and Carlo, ending global homelessness through 3D printing technology. Is it really possible? A nonprofit called New Story out of San Francisco is making it happen with the support of another charity, World Housing, and other generous donors, including a local business owner here in San Diego who just returned from Mexico. It's 3D printing technology used in a truly groundbreaking way. I always thought it was kind of science fiction, <laughs> but now it's science fact. I mean, it's happening. Oh, so they form it out like this. Exactly. Seth Larson, owner of Resilient Roofing here in San Diego, just got back from Mexico, where he helped make history. As this 3D printer meticulously and efficiently built a home out of concrete in just 24 hours. It's all part of a first-of-its-kind community in Tabasco, Mexico. Well, this is the first 3D printed home community in the entire world. Larson donated the funds to build two homes here, working with World Housing, a nonprofit out of San Francisco, and the 3D printing company Icon. The goal for the first phase of this development is 50 homes down in Mexico, and then the long-term plan for that development is 500 total. While there, Larson got to meet some of the families chosen by the Mexican government to receive these homes. They got to see the homes. They're all so excited and grateful. Some of the parents and kids are currently living on dirt floors. It had just rained when we were down there, so it was muddy inside, outside, inside. Both houses did not have running water that we saw. Larson says right now it costs about $25,000 to build each home. But the goal is to bring the cost down to about $5,000 to give families around the globe more affordable housing options. These are the first 3D printed homes. They're only going to get better. They're only going to get faster. They're only going to get built less expensive. But really, the thing I'm more excited about is giving back and seeing these kids and families move into these brand new homes. When you think about the science behind it, it really is amazing that concrete has to be just the perfect consistency, right? Because it can't be too soft, can't be too stiff. You add the roof, the appliances, and the entire house takes about a week to complete. Resilient Roofing says for every 100 homes they put on a roof here in San Diego, they plan to donate the funds to build one whole home down in Mexico. They did two this year, Carlo and Barbara Lee, and next year they want to do four, and they challenge other people. It doesn't have to be the same project, but to give back because the feeling is just so great and you can make a big impact. There's so many things about it that's really remarkable, including the fact that these homes are so stable. They are, and he said there's so much science that goes into it. He says they're insulated because they're concrete. That's actually a seismic area. He says they're earthquake resistant. So, so many things, and you really, you, you want to bring that here to the U.S., yeah. right? And try and help the homeless problem here, but he says there's permitting issues oh with certainly the government here but as we get scale with this technology mm -hmm. it's going to get even cheaper that's Raper, that's quicker, the really cool part very effective. and providing comfort and safety for these yeah. families who have nothing right now right thanks, thanks marcella, marcella.